A local man says he is upset after buying a diamond pendant, then having another jeweler tell him it wasn't a diamond. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris spoke with the customer and the store about why it can be hard to tell. The jeweler says that the man absolutely was given diamonds, but the buyer says he doesn't know what to believe and wants his money back. Adrian Johnson says he, like so many others, went shopping on Black Friday for a good deal. I ran across a store, Armani Jewelers, and they had a little angel piece I wanted to check out, and it was for a pretty good price, and he told me it was diamonds. So Johnson said he bought this gold and diamond pendant. Then he went shopping at another jewelry store and a clerk checked to see if the diamonds were real. Um, she looked at it and she, it came out to be moissanite and I felt like I was lied to. If you've never seen moissanite before, look at this YouTube video. This is moissanite on the left and a diamond on the right. It's almost impossible to tell the difference. Johnson says he went back to the jewelry store with the pendant to get a refund, but he says he was told they would not give him his money back. According to the jewelry store's receipt, they don't do refunds, only exchanges. So I called the store to get their side of the story. Just he was concerned about being told by another jeweler that it wasn't diamonds. So it's about he said, she said. So another jeweler is telling him it's not, and then he just go ahead, go, goes ahead and believes another jeweler. A woman named Sam said Johnson was given bad information and that the pendant is all diamonds. She even said she would get it certified. And Sam also said that if Johnson brought the receipt, she would give him a refund. So are you saying as long as the young man finds the receipt and brings it back to you all, that you all will give him his money back? Yes, ma'am. I'm happy to report that the jeweler refunded the money to the buyer this evening, and the jeweler said this entire situation was all just a misunderstanding. In Jacksonville, Jenny Harris, Channel 4, the local station.